Chapeau. Euh, je crois que le, le monde Bravo. I think that the whole world is proud of you. In any case, I'm very proud of you, and I shall continue the fight from over here in Istanbul. I'm going to again address a certain number of declarations made by what might be described as the Jewish authorities. Whilst noting that I have Jewish friends and am not an anti-Semite, the Jewish mafia is quite extraordinary because, to begin, since I made the first video in support of the Yellow Vests, I'm now being prosecuted by several aggressive Jewish lobbying NGOs. After being prosecuted by LICRA, the League Against Racism and Anti-Semitism, I'm now the target of, mm, what's this one called? BNVCA, B -N -V -C -A, National Bureau of Vigilance Against Antisemitism. I can't really see what they have to do with the yellow vests, but it's all part of their logic, because LICRA, CRIF, DILCRA, BNVCA, JDL, all these organisations are aggressive lobbying bodies which receive tens of millions of euros from the state and it's your money. They take your money in order to then be able to prosecute you. It's important to remember that Krif and Benai Brith have demanded that the state finish off the yellow vests. Mr Luc Ferry, also a member of the Jewish community, has called on the police to kill using firearms to shoot you. I think most people are aware of that. And Bernard-Henri Lévy, who dismisses us as rubbish and worthless, etc., as jihadists. We have Madame Ruth Elkrief, who continues her disinformation campaign on BFM, BFM, Israeli channel run by Mr. Patrick Drahi. So when I speak about Jewish mafia, I think my words are perfectly comprehensible. I'm not attacking Jewish compatriots of everyday normal life. I mean the Jewish mafia. And we know full well that the Rothschilds Bank exists. Ruth Elkrief and, and Bernard-Henri Lévy both exist. And these individuals believe that the French people should simply die or shut up and pretty much accept to be genocided in their own country. So, I believe that's something that you've already noticed. I repeat, not only have I received death threats, I'll leave a link because the mafia I'm speaking about, the mafia of Benai Brith, the Jewish Defense League, JDL, classed as a terrorist organization in the US and even in Israel. And these organizations weren't able to get rid of me, but they were able to censor one of my videos. The video showing all the death threats I received, once again sent by members of these organizations. They managed to halt distribution of the video, but it is still available. Encore une fois, de ces organisations, ils ont réussi à empêcher qu'on diffuse la vidéo, mais elle est encore visible. Bonsoir à tous, Stéphane Blé d'Istanbul. Good evening, everyone. Stéphane Blé from Istanbul. Greetings to all. For this video, well, you can see. Philistine means Palestine in Turkish. En Turc. Euh, voilà, ouais, vous voyez mieux comme ça. Philistine et Turquie. You can see it better like this. Palestine, Turkey. Why am I speaking about Palestine this evening? Well, for years I've been giving concerts in support of the Palestinians. And I believe that's what the French people risk today, becoming Palestinians in their own country. C'est de devenir petit à petit les Palestiniens dans leur propre pays. And I believe that the Yellow Vests are making history because they are the Palestinians in their own country. They're trying to liberate France, to liberate France from Zionist occupation, from the Zionist mafia, from Patrick Drey's BFM TV channel, from the Rothschilds Bank, from all these institutions, Likra, Krif, Benai Brith, Benai Brith, lots of people don't know what it is. People have asked me, what is Benai Brith? Benai Brith is a Jewish supremacist sect, forbidden to non-Jews, 
meaning it's a racist, racialist sect, a sect in charge of the upper echelons of Freemasonry. And it's forbidden for non-Jews to join. It's no joke, you can check. Bunei means children of the alliance. Their plan is to do to the French what they've already done to the Palestinians. And I think people are beginning to understand. And this is why the Yellow Vest movement is making history. Because the French people understand what's happening. And what is extraordinary about the Yellow Vests, contrary to all the propaganda from the Israeli news channel BFM, the Yellow Vests isn't a racist movement, nor is it anti-Semitic or anything like that. It's a movement of the people to stop the genocide that's been programmed, for them to be able to live, to be able to eat, to live with dignity and to be able to give our children a future. And we have seen that Benai Brith, this Jewish supremacist sect, for those who don't know, issued a statement recently against the Yellow Vests. We have Mr. Bernard-Henri Lévy, another vile Zionist. I think everybody knows who he is by now, responsible for massacres in Libya and for so much more, but it would take too long to explain here. And these Israeli agents who sap our money, who've been steadily ruining us for at least 30 years, Jacques Attali, all these people who belong to the same community, to the same mafia. It's time to tell them adieu. To tell them, right, either you leave now or else things might start to turn nasty. Because the French know, they know that all your propaganda consists of labelling anyone who understands what you're trying to do as an anti-Semite is no longer working. I've got Jewish friends, I'm not anti-Semitic. However, I do know about the Jewish mafia. Here's an example. We all know that there's a mafia in Italy. And that's why when we speak of the Italian mafia, Italians aren't too pleased. They know that the Italian mafia exists. But the Jewish mafia always plays with that. If you criticise BHL, then you're an anti-Semite. Really? I didn't know that. I think everyone now knows what's going on. But I want to focus attention on Benai Barith. And I advise you to go and check it out. A Jewish supremacist racist cult forbidden to non-Jews and which controls Freemasonry, right at the top of the pyramid. Clearly, the solution will not be found within mainstream politics. Jean-Luc Mélenchon is a high-ranking Freemason. Marine Le Pen? What to say about her? Marine Le Pen is an ultra-Zionist. In any case, she's completely dominated by the Zionist networks. It's clear. A few years ago, she even had the indecency to justify massacres of Palestinians. Remember those despicable Israeli soldiers who shot and killed children playing on a beach in Gaza? This created a worldwide scandal, irrespective of beliefs. But Marine Le Pen thought it wise to defend Israel, because Marine Le Pen is a collaborator. Therefore, to the yellow vests, you're absolutely right not to let yourselves be absorbed by the so-called far right or far left. You're making history, because for the first time, people are united. Christians, Muslims, whites, blacks, French, foreigners, leftists, rightists, etc. And everyone has come together to defend their rights, to defend their honour, their country, their lives and the future of their children. It's truly historic. Long live the liberation. I hope 2019 will be the year of our liberation. We are many. We are the 99%. And the fact that we're all together in this is quite extraordinary. Good luck to everybody. We are proud of you. Au revoir.